All right, before this video begins, I just wanted to clarify this. It's just speculation, not factual. So, if you watch Quackity, like, 26 into 2019, you may have known he had, like, a really good friend named Axel. And then, for Axel, too, I mean, there's seven year, they had a seven-year-long friendship. Get this. They had a seven-year-long friendship. Now, for Axel to admit that Quackity and him are not friends anymore, or, or just got people wondering what happened. Now, the most common theory is... Like, since you know how Quackity had a big role, he went from 2 million to 5 million subscribers from joining the Dream SP. And you know how the Dream SP is like very sensitive to terms such as retard and whatnot. And Quackity almost actually got canceled for being Mexican. He got, you know, they, they thought he was white and he was speaking Spanish. And they're thinking that, holy shit, this guy's a fucking, you know, I don't know, he's doing culture, some shit. I forgot what the fucking term was. But, like, what's it called? A lot of people think that, you know, how Quackity can't be edgy anymore. He, just, he went from humorous to being, you know, loud equals funny. Now, now a lot of people think that, you know, how Quackity can't be edgy anymore. And, he, and then, you know, if you look back and him and Axel were making funny jokes, uh, you know. And a lot of, a lot of like, fucking uh, Dream S&P fans were making compilations, like, where Quackity sang retard and other things like, with his friends and whatnot. A lot of people thought, they, they, like, you know, Quackity... Yeah, like didn't want to get canceled, so he unfriended your fucking Axel and whatnot. Now, this theory still has a lot of holes in it because you know, like what's called. If you look at, if you join at Axel I mean, in any of Axel's streams, you may have known this guy's fucking wholesome. This guy truly is. He's fucking, he's nice. He's fucking chill and whatnot. He's just a cool ass dude, right? So this still got me, still gets me asking. This can't be right because Axel isn't like, I, like he's not the same. You know, like when he was streaming with Quiet, he was like like edgy but when he was like with just streaming by himself he's a pretty chill ass dude so this theory still has a lot of holes in it now the second theory is when axel went on this on a stream and then people were asking him questions and he, he said he had a, a lot of friends who were obsessed with numbers or ex-friends who were obsessed with numbers so people like led this to quackity and how quackity you know one like is at five million subscribers and so it's like still in the not even a million yet now this could be a possibility i'm not saying it's factual because you know we don't know how quackity is like behind the fucking camera you know we don't we don't know how he is like when he's not streaming or whatnot you know so this still begs the question what, what led to it and then i think the most reasonable one would probably be the not the edgy but one one that benefit that that probably benefits quackity the most you know because we, we still don't know i'm not saying this guy's in like a spineless and you know unfriending his friends because he's bigger now and they're, they used to be edgy because i don't know if he made anything with hoover if if like he unfriended hoover as well then maybe maybe like what's it called that this is that theory holds stronger and whatnot but until then we don't know these aren't facts so if if you you know this isn't facts it's just theories now I'm glad they kept it private because then we would have had retards like people mm -hmm. trying to instigate shit. Like what he did with Aiden Ross and the popsicle dude, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. And, like, you know, King Stars always will just want someone to go on his crappy ass show to talk shit so he can get more viewers and whatnot. And I'm glad they just kept it to private and then, you know, tied the knot there, you know. And, oh shit, never mind. Tied the knot means get married. I mean, whatever. I mean, you know, just uh, went their separate ways. And uh, they're doing, both doing pretty well for themselves. Like, you know, Axel has his own podcast and quackity you know is doing his own thing with the dream SP and whatnot and yeah it, 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 i think it's, it's a happy ending but in a way but whatever you know who the fuck am i to say and yeah that was it if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a thumbs up or subscribing it means a lot to me and yeah that's it keep it crispy kids and i'll see you later goodbye